every day in the USA, 3,500 babies are killed by abortion. What has been our response, our meaning pro-life? Very feeble. What we should be doing is setting up a defense for those babies who are being slaughtered. And what we are doing instead is talking. We should be ashamed of ourselves. It's a disgrace that 52 million babies have been killed in this country, and we do not have an answer for that, even yet after 37 years. I wrote a book called Stopping Abortions at Death's Door. It's a how-to and a why not of how to start a crisis pregnancy center and how to run it. And Pro-life pregnancy centers are the new face of an old movement, kind and non-judgmental. But we are the delta forces in the abortion wars, fighting our battles one woman's conscience at a time. Our volunteers are no different from you. We are weak reeds, and we need lots of help from our prayer-answering God. We know that saving babies in the wombs of their mothers on their way into an abortion mill requires that we physically be there. In Worcester, our volunteers pray and sidewalk council at the Planned Parenthood's front and back door four days a week when surgical and medical abortions are being committed. These volunteers, with great difficulty, bring wavering clients to our adjacent offices. We have been doing that for 28 years. In order for the abortion-minded mother to have her so-called choice, she needs to heal hear the real truth. We need to be where the action is. We need to fish where the fish are. We need to compete with the abortionists at the front door of the abortion mill for those babies by offering them alternatives and then by bringing them over to a crisis pregnancy center very adjacent, either across the street or next door, so that there is an alternative for those women who need an alternative. What are we going to do about it? I know what to do. I've been at this thing for 40 years. I've been at the crisis pregnancy business for 29 years. I know how to do it, and I'm going to tell you how to do it in my book.